Hey buddies! Welcome back to Chris Andy Play. My name is Chris. My name is Andy. Today we're playing Sonic the Hedgehog. The first game for Sega Genesis. Uh, we're not playing it on Genesis, so... Stick it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm playing this game, Yeah. Uh, and I hate it, by the way, I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> nah, I don't hate it, but it, it's the worst of the original three Sonic games, and uh, I'm, not a fan of song. I'm not a fanic song. Fan I'm not a fanic song at all! No fanic song for anyone! Uh, yeah, I don't like these games. I, I think I kind of liked them as a kid, maybe because I was dumb, but no, they're not, they're not I don't think they're good games. Um, <laughs> and we were having a heated discussion about... Dragon Ball before we started recording, mm. and uh, I think as we, uh, we like temporary played this as a warm up, and yeah. we had a, a heated debate about the quality of Sonic games as well. And uh, you don't get to hear them. No. <laughs> I guess yeah, that's they, where yeah, I was they, going with that. Yeah, I don't know. They're totally gone. Yeah, they're gone yeah. forever now, and lost in the void of yeah. But yeah. first stage, pull faster. What's the what's the world record for this stage? Like twenty seconds, twenty uh, five. I'm sure there's like. Something. Probably 30. It's, it's, I don't think you could do it much faster than that. He only runs so fast. I have no idea. I'm sure there's something that, like, somebody's figure out where if you, like, hit a box properly, like... It properly, just beats, beats the stage? Well, it's it's probably not, like, a beat the stage. You might, like, just jump, like, 40 tiles or something. Mm. He's like, and I'm here. I like I like speedruns. I think we've talked yeah. about this before. I, I like them, and you don't. So, well, my, discussion over. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have nothing wrong with the speedrun. And, in fact, I really <laughs> enjoyed, uh, like, I have, like, a neurotic need for like adequate like like with games and stuff like I like the perfection like the execution of like something perfect you know mm -hmm. so like I can I can sit there and do that but like I don't think it's entertaining and like I think what what can be interesting and and I say interesting not entertaining is like you know the exploits involved in order to speedrun something correctly like the things that people do in order to be like how the fuck did you find that uh, yeah, well, yeah. I, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't just watch speedruns for, like, every game, but if it's like, I'm, a, I'm interested in this game, I like this game, maybe I'm in the mood to kind of experience mm -hmm. the game, but I don't want to play it myself. I just want to, yeah. I want to hear the music, I want to hear the sounds, and, and just kind of be like, oh, yeah, this game, then just go watch a speedrun, and you get to see, like, the entire game pretty quick, depending on, on the game, right? Yeah. Um, but it's also cool, just the demonstration of, sometimes... You gotta be spinning to hit them. Sometimes it's a, de I, I know that. Sometimes it's a demonstration of yeah. skill. Like I had to run this game, you know, five times a day for three months in order to get everything perfect. Yeah, absolutely. And, and sometimes it's just like a look at these exploits. Like if you do, or if um, I don't really, I'm not really into TSA's tool assisted runs, where they just kind of use like not cheats, but like hmm. tools to to make everything to to manipulate like you mean like save states and not not save states, but just like RNG manipulators. So it's just like this is how. This is how fast you could beat the game if everything was perfect. Like, if you oh, were doing yeah. a speed run of uh, Final Fantasy, and it's just like, there's no random encounters, and every time you fight a boss, every hit is a critical kind of thing, oh, and, and the well, bosses yeah, always miss. That's not... It's like, this is this is how fast you could do it if everything was perfect. But that's... Um, those aren't... But that uh, never exists in the real life, like, I mean... No, no, but that's, that's another thing, too, like, but you can watch people do, like, uh, speed runs where they do, like, a... Mm -hmm. uh, what the hell is it called? Um, multiple... It, multiple like a game where you can save right okay yeah yeah so they like they'll save oh yeah and they'll they'll just save state whatever like every level and they'll just get they'll take the best and they'll, yeah. they'll put them so together. they're like oh i had to yeah. do this section like 20 times to get it perfect but the section is like yeah well, said you know 10 minutes long so it's well, just like well that took a long time when i was first introduced to, <gasps> oh yeah when i was first introduced to speed running like uh i guess the first one i ever saw ever was a super mario brothers <laughs> Three for Nintendo. I agree. Uh, and he, he beats the entire game with like warp pipes and whatever in like uh, I guess like under eight minutes, something like that, if, if I recall. And I was like, I was blown away at the time. I was like, you know, I'm in college. This is crazy. I can't believe somebody would dedicate that time. And everything is perfect. Like there's like the bullet bill stage or whatever, right? like on the on the pirate ship near the end where he, it's like it just gets to the point where it's like one up, one up, one up, one up, one up, one up. And mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this video. It's very popular. Um, but. Uh, Somebody, like, at some point in time, I was like, uh, they'd let me know that it was used on an emulator with save states. And that he just took the best run of each one. And I was just like, oh, well, that took all the magic and the fun out of it. Like, where I thought somebody had just played so much that they were like, 
excellent and this was amazing, right? Like this was just so interesting. It took all the fun out of it. Where mm. I was, I was no longer like, okay, well, anybody can do that. Like I can sit here and I can record us playing this for literally like a year and get things that nobody has ever done before, you know, and make the best video possible. But the magic, the interesting part of it is like it's gone. Like there's never going to be, like that is an impossibility. You know? Well, yeah, that's the, that's the best speedruns, in my opinion, are the ones that are just like all in one go. Oh, yeah. Kind of thing. Because I mean, even though maybe they played the entire game, maybe they played that whole two hours like 20 times, but they still did it the whole game in one go. Yeah, yeah. They didn't play it section by section. Uh, yeah, the, the best speedruns, in my opinion, are games that are like uh, infamous for being like insanely hard, like speedrun of like Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Or, or Ghosts and Goblins, oh God, yeah. or a speed, I, I speed run of like, that, but I can imagine it being crazy. Speed run of any Ninja Gaiden, Devil May Cry, yeah. or like God Hand or something like that. Those are crazy because it's like you know those are hard game, hard games. They're playing on the hardest setting, and like they're it's oh, yeah, they're, they're making it look like it's just as, as easy as breathing. Um, yeah, or well, you spend enough time doing these things, like everything is second nature, and it's it's weird, like how oh come on, <laughs> game, yeah. uh. <laughs> it's the, not easy, man. The other speedruns I like are like yeah. uh, RPGs, right? Where they're just like, mm. they are they took no time to grind. They're just like, go, go, go. They're running away from every battle, and they're just going straight into boss fights at like the lowest possible level. And yeah, they're yeah. still making it look easy. Um, those are crazy to me because I don't I don't play RPGs like that. Like, you know, like I like to over grind. Oh, and I, I like to well, feel I'm, overpowered. Uh, and, I think that's like there's different ways of playing, right? Like there's there's different levels of challenge, right? And there's, like, I don't find, like, like, grinding is not challenging, but there's a sense of, like, supreme accomplishment at the end of a grind session when you feel like, and now I'm going back to the area where I was, and I was, it wasn't that I was having trouble before, it's now that I'm just, like, everything is mm. done, you know? Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, even that, <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> even, even that ring, whatever, whatever, I need just it. get out of here. Uh, but even then, like, it's something that is... Um, it's it's an accomplishment. It's it's still difficult to grind properly, I think, because in in order to like really do proper, like you don't want to sit there on like level one enemies and just go for like days, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> like the whole like grinding well, I think you you pick something that's overly difficult, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. But but not. Uh, but like accomplishable. Well, yeah, it's just what's the most efficient way to do it? Do you managing your resources and your time? Is it more efficient to fight these harder enemies to get more experience or fight the weaker enemies? Because yeah. you can fight more of them without having to go re refill your MP or something. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, it's it is kind of like, a, well, yeah, it's interesting like that. There are ways to make it interesting. I, for whatever reason, I love grinding. I, I oh, think it's God, yeah. I think it's because the first RPG I ever played was Dragon Warrior. And, uh, like, if the game takes 20 hours to beat, mm -hmm. 19 of those are spent grinding. It is, like, the world's shortest RPG. Uh, but, oh my god, the grinding. So, yeah, it just became like, oh, this is just what you do. This is what you do. This is what RPGs are. I like this now. Oh, yeah, totally. So, mm. Well, my first experience with RPGs was 7. Seven's not very grind-heavy, but I ended up doing a lot of grinding. Um, eventually, when I kind of figured out how to play the game properly. It took me a long time to figure it out because it was my first experience with RPGs, and... For the most part, like, my childhood was this. Like, I mean, I spent a lot of time playing Sonic. I played a lot of this kind of game. Uh, no. You know, like, Super Nintendo, like, Donkey Kong Country and stuff like that. Like, nothing nothing was even remotely close when I got a PlayStation to, to what uh, Final Fantasy was. So, when I finally got there, I just didn't understand it. And uh, eventually I did. And I started grinding. Um, because you, you got to grind to get your material good. It's the only way you can only like you you can play the game without it. Like sure you can do that easy, but you cannot do what you want with material without grinding it out. Yeah. Um. So that's probably where that's just where I got my first taste for it. But I didn't. I don't think I liked grinding then. Like it was just something I had to do, and I felt like that was the thing that I did. Um. I didn't really start liking grinding until like Star Ocean Two. At which point, like that was it. That was it for me. Like I now knew that. My calling in these type of games was finding, <laughs> finding a game okay, that like in, incorporated. Oh, oh yeah, that's a checkpoint. That's, the, that's why you go left. Yeah, go left for the checkpoint. Um. Oh, if I died, I have to be. I'd be back at the beginning, right? Yes. Damn. Okay, that's a good thing then. Ooh. Yeah. Totally. 
Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So like ah! that. Okay. At, <laughs> <No>! <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. We'll talk about it next time. Bye. Oh, okay. Right. Ah! Well, okay, yeah. So, in the original Star Ocean 2, um, for, for PlayStation, they remade it for PSP, which is awesome, because I love that game, and they've added new cutscenes and more player action, which is great. The problem is that they changed the battle system to incorporate, like, I guess, probably just less gameplay overall, so that you can get through, like, a portable version of the So, basically, what they did is, in combat, where you'd normally only be able to attack once, now there is a three hit combo. Mm, right, okay. Okay, so every everything you're doing in this game is now three times stronger. So for every hit you would be doing, you're doing three times as much damage. Yeah, there, and, there were there were definitely times where like after a certain weapon upgrade or yeah. some skill or something, 